to Estonian girl in Hollywood. Uh, today I want to show you around how the shopping culture works in Los Angeles. I'll show you guys around in Beverly Hills and in the Grove and in downtown Los Angeles. They are all very, very, very different from each other. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys around. This is literally the entrance of Ralph Lauren when you come in here. It's crazy, I think. Let's go and see around a little bit. Hello. Oh, what? I really wanted to go inside of Tiffany & Company and see what is their nicest ring in there and take a picture. What do you guys think? I'll go and try it out. So I do want to say something about the Tiffany & Company. I just saw a $780,000 necklace. I think that's so insane. You can get a house for that. Or in Estonia, you can get like many houses. <laughs> so this is such a next level of living, I feel. Uh, but it's awesome to see it. And uh, you almost feel like you don't belong in a way, you know? Because it's so insane. Beverly Hills is a place where only the very wealthy people would come and shop in here. In Rodeo Drive, you probably can't get anything under like thousand dollars at least. Unfortunately in Jimmy Choo's you cannot uh, take photos in there, it's their company policy, <laughs> sure. Uh, but uh, I saw some interesting Cinderella uh, shoes and they were about $4,000 uh, for that shoe. But normally they are like $600 to $1,000. Just came from Dior and one thing uh, what I saw is a necklace which is worth $2.2 million guys. It's crazy, I think. It's absolutely mind-blowing for me to go to the store and spend two million dollars. Oof. So Prada people were very bougie and very uh, like, you can't do any pictures and items. Uh, so all of this uh, little dresses in here go for $3,000. I, I did make a picture for you guys uh, for the bag, which goes for $22,000 for the crocodile. Of course, you have to do crocodiles Prada. Good for you. So now we're in Gucci. Gucci. So Gucci, this shoe goes for thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Most packed store what I saw so far, and that the reason behind it is probably because it's more affordable for a lot of people. For an outfit, it's gonna take you probably five thousand dollars to get everything. When you walk in there, it just seems so fancy, and it's almost like like you feel like you don't belong. You know what I mean? Because you know you're going there and you don't have that type of bank account yet. <laughs> I just don't see the point of spending so much money on one item or a pair of shoes. Like I could see myself having one pair of Louboutins in the future just to have it. Like I come from that little uh, culture where it's normal uh, to have 20 bucks jeans, you know, not like thousands of dollars. It's just, uh, it's a little different type of mentality and a different type of life, what you really have to have in order to shop a place in a Rodeo Drive. My overall opinion is that uh, I really did I like the people. The people were very nice. Uh, everybody were very friendly. Uh, there were some bougie people in there. Um, who are just extra and that's how it is. Not everybody can be nice. <laughs> Let me get into my fancy car. Hey! <laughs> you know, we're leveling up as well, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Now I just 
made it to downtown Los Angeles and it is very very different in here than Beverly Hills I'll show you two contrasting uh, things uh, if before you get a, a pair of shoes in Beverly Hills about $600 then in here you could get uh, a pair of shoes fake Jimmy shoes or Louboutins uh, <laughs> about uh, 10 to uh, 20 bucks Look at these streets though, they are not Beverly Hills. The wedding dresses are in here, Let's see $79, huh? Suits for men, these run about $50 to $100. This is our medical doctor, so you can go in and get food in there. Look at that, it's crazy, there's two in a row. Lots and lots of nice dresses are in here. So this is more like the fancier uh, dresses what they have. This is very typical. Have a taco truck right up in here. This is a purse store in here. Let's see how much these type of purses are. Hello. Hello. How much are do you sell this purse? Uh, this is uh, fifty-five. Fifty-five. So five dollars, guys. You could come in here and shop in here, and it's literally five bucks. It's crazy. Look how different it is. Like you can see, you can just walk in with your camera. There's uh, no security guards. Nobody is saying like you can't film in here. Uh, it is completely allowed uh, to do your thing. They just want the publicity in here. Think about it. This place is literally only 30 minutes from Rodeo Drive, where we just were. Pink nips. <laughs> Think how if, if you want to shop in Beverly Hills and you want to get that pair of Jimmy Choo's, you're gonna go and spend six hundred to thousand uh, dollars, or you come in here and uh, it's not fancy, it's not as clean for sure not, and you can literally get a pair of red cherries, and red cherries go for how much are these? I'm just holding a shoe. I could have just walked away. Nobody had said anything. Probably I could say like 20 bucks, you know, I'll take them for 20. <laughs> Little Chinese store. Look at this. This is like literally you're in China yourself. Hmm, interesting. So this is five dollars. They got one in here. Burp. Seems like nobody's here, huh? And don't forget about the whole Jesus store. You never can tell downtown if it's legit or not. Most of the times it's not. If they say it's a real Dolce Gabbana, like the scent, the perfume, then I would be very lurry like is it though? I could totally see myself living in Beverly Hills because it's very safe, nice and clean. Uh, I could never live in downtown though because it can get a little dangerous, a little weird at times because there's a lot of homeless people around here and it's not really clean so you can't really go for a walk or go for a run in this area but if you if you have a family and uh, you're not so wealthy and you still want to get like nice things which maybe wouldn't last that long because most of these things are shipped from uh, China then uh, I would recommend coming in here and uh, getting some maybe cheaper stuff but for the whole family it just depends on how much you have in your wallet and how much you're willing to spend just made it to Glendale Galleria and it is very similar to the Grove and it is a very mallish so it's a complete mall with forever 21 to like Gucci you Sale prices so 20 bucks, $14, very normal. Jesse Penny's has a lot of sales coming up, especially because uh, Black Friday is coming up as well. Black Friday is a big uh, sale just the day after Thanksgiving. So when US people say thank you, like this is so great, like uh, happy Thanksgiving, then the next day or the day off they come to 
uh, rave these stores like mad people, crazy people because there's so many sales going on. actually a secret place in LA what I would highly recommend which is at the outlets so you can get all the brand stuff but uh, they're just uh, way more cheaper so it's uh, the Citadel outlets and Camarilla outlets and those are fantastic so it's basically like all those store so there are 39 dollars Like in here, guys. So let's see. I like red always, right? So this type of shoe is $34. So it's $17 right now for this type of pair of shoes. Yeah, $98. So you can get that for The point is that you will feel so much more comfortable coming in this Michael Kors than rather than going to that uh, very fancy Beverly Hills one. Estonian Body Shop is like American Bath and Body Works. So they have all kinds of goodies. Like look at this, five for 23. And you get like these smell amazing. Like I love this store so much. 25 bucks, but um, hot cocoa and cream. Oh, oh my gosh, it's too good. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. Been a little free massage in the meantime. I love it. Mm. Ow. Oh, I needed it. I needed it bad. Behind the scenes. In conclusion, I would like to say that in Los Angeles, I feel the best place is where to shop and get the most out from your money is definitely the Grove, Glendale Galleria, Citadel Outlet, and Camarilla Outlets. For me, I feel the most comfortable in those places. Hello! <laughs> Thank you so much guys for watching another episode of Estonian Girl in Hollywood. I hope you liked it. If you did, then give me thumbs up and subscribe down below.